John Deere 850K. I'm going to install Topcon single mast 3D MC squared on it. Well, let's get started. Down here, I'm going to install the leveling sensor because it's a single mast. With the single mast, you need another spot on the blade away from the mast to tell you this side of the blade's elevation and uh, slope. So we're going to install that there. Right here, I got two different ports. This port right here, I'm going to use for the receiver that goes on top of the pole. This other port's for the leveling sensor. I installed the top receiver, all installed. Now I'm going to do the leveling sensor. We got a new one, new cable. Here's the leveling sensor with the bracket. This is the sensor, I'll unwrap it, but it mounts inside the bracket, and the bracket mounts right here. I'm going to put Loctite on it so uh, it doesn't fall off. There we go, it's unpacked. I'm going to First I'm going to mount it inside here, so it's got three bolt holes, and it's got three on here. You drop it in, turn it over, then these holes you can stick the screwdriver through to do up the bolts. So I'll do that. Okay, so I got that mounted on, nice and secure. When we get back to the city, we're going to weld this right on so it doesn't fall off. But in the inside on the big bolts there, I put Loctite, so it should be good. Now I'm going to hook up the cable, this cable runs from here, goes up through there, and goes up in that other uh, connector up there, so now I'll put that on. Got on the sensor, got on the top receiver, got the cables on. I'm gonna do up all the cables. Do these things up. They hold the cable from bending and moving. These little clips right here, very important. I have a bunch of them. You can clip them to pieces. It stops, stops the cable from pulling on the actual connector. Like here too, I'm doing this one. This big one right here. I'm gonna put this on the cable and clip it up there just so it takes the whole weight of the cable off the connector okay so I got the GPS shit all hooked up here in the front nicely mounted there we go now I'm gonna go inside do a, a calibration and uh, set up that control box and all that type of shit. Now I'm inside the cab. I'm gonna hook up the control box. This one is the GX60. So I've got her hooked up here. All ready, so she should be good to go. Turn her on, see what happens. I just need to pick my design and uh, I can rock and roll.
I done a site pickup or topo with the dozer, so I got some control points up there. Um, to pick your design, you want to go to active, and you, then you want to pick your surface. So I have a bunch of different uh, things here, so I'll just pick whichever one I'm going to work on. The way they designed this site is stupid. They made a bunch of different designs. They didn't combine it in one. So I need to change my designs depending where I go on site. Um, on the next site I go to, I won't have this problem. I talked to the guy who does all this shit and he's going to make it uh, as one design for me. So should go much better. Anyway, I got the GPS dozer all set up. Um, it's working. Um, as you can see down here, both sides are green. I just need to go on my uh, actual design and it'll give me cross section and I'll pick which views I want. To uh, run out, I use uh, the top plan view and then a cross section. And then on the side here, I have uh, a scale and it shows me exactly where grade is. Uh, so there we go. I kind of hooked the shit up myself here and she's all working. Base set up, everything's working properly. Rock and roll, pushy six, bitch.